everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have the penultimate update for 50 shades of green I have been really bad at updating this project this year I've been really bad about updating everything this year um still got one month to go and then the new color will start which if you want to know what it is ahead of time you have to join the fantastic ladies but this is a project that was created by Jessica Amanda and Cece and it started out with pink then last year was purple, this year is green, and next year is, well, technically this year, but you know. <laughs> and the premise is pick 50 products that relate to the color somehow, scent, name, color of the packaging, color of the product, however you can make it work, and set your own goals. It starts April 15th and runs through April 15th of the next year. <sighs> I mean, it's not the end but this is definitely one of my more more least successful this is definitely one of my least successful projects historically and I think it's because I set goals that are too hard but we'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end and I have one two three four five six seven items that I have finished since the last update, whenever that was, I have no, I, I have no clue and let's get going. So first item on my list and it's the first thing that's finished. This is the last candle that I still had in this project. This is from Threshold. It's the water mint and eucalyptus scent. And it's a nice, <laughs> see my, my matches that fell in there and I didn't feel like get them out. But this was a nice light scent and not like my super favorite, but it is gone and I'm glad to have another candle out of my collection. The next product is something that I am not going to hit my goal on before the finale, but I didn't really think I was going to make it. This is the Hemp's Mashups Triple Moisture Tart and Creamy Herbal body moisturizer. It smells really good. My goal is to finish it. I've got a total of 27 uses on it and I'm down to here. So yeah, this is not getting done. Um, I may use it one or two more times just because, but especially since there's no way I'm going to meet my goal, I'm probably going to focus on the other body lotion that I'm working on for Throwback 30 right now and just kind of forget about this. <laughs> but I got, I got some good use on it, so I shouldn't complain. I mean, I'm acting like this is the finale. It's not the finale, but it kind of is because for the most part, I'm not going to be hitting too many more goals before the finale. Then the next thing I finish is a super non-exciting thing. This is Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This was super old. It was only like half full, and I still needed to use it 18 times before it was empty. So not much to say about that. I'm glad it's gone. Then I just actually finished this right before I filmed because I knew I had like one use left. This is the Sweet and Shimmer Frosted Coconut Hand Cream. I got 27 uses out of this. It's fine. It smells okay. It's just, it's not very moisturizing or hydrating or anything. So, I mean, let's be honest. I don't really use hand creams. I mainly got this because I was struggling with greens and I was like, it's $2 at Ulta. I'll buy it. So that one is done. I have, I, I'm still working on my Ulta Beauty Wild Mint Body Bar. It's almost finished. Like that thing has been lasting forever and ever and ever. But it's a bar of soap and it's in my shower and I'm not bringing it downstairs. Next, I have my Ulta Beauty Sparkling Dew Moisturizing Body Wash. I've got a total of 20 uses on it. I have that much left. I'm really, I've really been focusing on this one because I want it to be gone for the finale. I think if I use this until it's gone and exclusively only use this and none of the other body washes and scrubs that I have in other projects, I think I can get it done before the finale. I hope because if I can't, that's just embarrassing, <laughs> but that's still sticking around. Then I just finished this the other night. I finished my macadamia. This looks gross. I mean, it sits in my shower. It's not going to be the cleanest thing, 
ironically. My macadamia deep repair mask. It is all empty and clean. I got 28 uses out of this and it took me I wasn't working on this the entire year because I think I had another one of these that I was working on before I could open this one. But this was, this took like six months of use or something for those 28 uses. It lasts a long time. I really like it and it is finished. The next item I have is my CVS Pharmacy Muscle Relief Mineral Bath Salts in Eucalyptus and Peppermint. I hate the way this smells. I use them in my foot bath. I have got 13 uses on these. If I push, I will have these finished. I really want them finished because I don't like them. And I'm not gonna like put them in the bath with the kids because it doesn't smell good. I'm okay using it for my feet. And Madeline likes to take foot baths with me so I use a little extra. So just gotta remember to like take some foot baths. The next thing that is empty is my, this is a tiny mini sample of the Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. The box was green. That's why I brought it in. I got 14 uses on this. I don't remember, honestly, anything about this product because I finished it a couple months ago. So my sense is that it was fine because I do like Peach and Lily stuff, but I have no idea. <laughs> so I used it. It's gone. Then this thing has stuck around like almost the entire year. It is insane. This is my Mario Badescu chamomile night cream. And because this is fairly rich, I don't use a ton of it. So this is how much I've got left in here. I have used this jar 227 times. And I I'm thinking I'll have it done for the finale, but there's a chance I'll still have a couple uses left because if I use too much of this, my face turns really greasy. Like it, you kind of need to get the sweet spot of just enough and it's real easy to do too much. So that's why it's taking me so long. I like it. It's just, this, this sticks around forever. I mean, it's good, good value for your money, but geez. <laughs> Then my next empty is my Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Cream. I believe I was using this as a morning moisturizer. So I got a total of 122 uses out of this and I really enjoyed it. I have a backup, but I have a lot of other moisturizers that are older that I need to work out first before I can pull a new one in, but I really did like it. So this is also done. Then I have, this one will definitely be empty for the finale. This is my Ulta Beauty Infused Beauty Lemongrass Extract Mask. I have used this 10 times and I've got, probably got like one to two, it's probably too much for one use, but not enough for two uses. So we'll call it one and a half uses of this left. I really like this mask and of course um, it's not on Alta's website anymore. So, And then the last empty I have for this video is my Essence Hello Good Stuff face mask, calming and regenerating with cucumber water. The mask itself was green. I did not, I did not like this. I didn't think it was calming. It wasn't hydrating. I think it was pointless. And I got 15 uses out of it. I, it's just one of those things where like you put it on for like two or three minutes and then you wash it off. I don't see the point. So that's empty. I haven't seen this at Ulta again, but if even if they had it, even though it's super cheap, I wouldn't buy it again. I just don't like face masks like that. So that one's gone. So next I have my Peach and Lily Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. It's like a tealy bluish green, but the box is green. This I've used six times. This is a, I don't know if this is a true mini where it's like, you know, half the size or whatever, but there's that. I probably have about two, I don't know. Because I've used this six times and it's only looking like half empty, but when I actually put it on, I feel like there's not that much in here. So I don't know, I'm gonna try 
to fit, get this finished, but it is an AHA BHA, so I only like to use this once a week. And I have been forgetting the past couple of weeks, so I don't know if I will be able to finish this. I really want to, though, but I do really like it. So if I don't finish it in the project, I will still continue, like I'll want to continue to use it. It does sting just a little bit when I put it on, but after like a minute that feeling goes away and then when I wash it off, my skin just feels really nice and smooth and I'm really enjoying it. Next, we're starting to get into more of the makeup-y stuff. I have my Indigo Bananas Cuticle Balm in Peppermint. I've got 25 uses on it. I think my goal was to hit pan I, that's probably not going to happen. I've not been wanting to use this because it's just such a hassle. So I don't know. We'll see. But no, it's not happening. <laughs> then I have three mini polishes. The first is this mini polish from Ulta, which I just shook it up because it was separating. I'm pretty sure the line is right about there. I've, I want to finish all three of these. I've only used this three times, so that's not finished. The second one I've used once the entire year. And not, I have not used it since the last update. And actually, I think I need to put some thinner in it. It's this Cascade Polish in Exploration. And then the last one is, this is a really dark polish. It's Cascade Polish Stagnant. I've only used this twice. And yeah, no. So none of these are getting finished because I'm just not painting my nails enough. And I got other nail polishes that I want to use more. So you know what? It is what it is. Next is my Nest Bamboo and Jasmine Body Mist. I had a 50 use goal on this and I've used it 22 times so far. I mean, theoretically, if I wore it every single day, I could hit my goal on it, but I don't wanna wear this every single day. I like it, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I just, I don't wanna wear it every single day and I don't reapply my perfumes and body mists and stuff because I find that as long as I spray some of it or get something on the vicinity of my clothing, I can smell it all day long. So this is another goal I'm probably not going to hit, but I'm still going to keep it in my rotation and we'll just see how many more times I can use it before the finale. This next one is, I feel like it's very close to being finished if I could just remember to use it at night. This is my Glossier Mint Balm, mintbalm.com. I have got 64 uses on this since I brought it in and I, it wasn't even full when I brought it in. Um, I only use this at night if I use it and I'm really, really going to try to remember to use it because that would be nice to just get this. I mean, that's just pathetic. Not finishing this. That would be pitiful. So we're going to, I'm going to make it happen. Where did I put this next one is not going, I'm not going to hit my goal. This is the Essence Lime Crush Lip Balm. I bought this because again, it was super cheap and I needed something, I needed more green things. This isn't my favorite. I only use this once a day. This is how much I've got left, by the way. My goal was to finish it. I only use it once a day, like on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. If I use it any more than that, this dries out my lips. And because I was working on that other lip balm that was in my Panners Bingo that took me four freaking ever, I didn't get started on this for a very long time. And I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep it in my like everyday makeup kind of little case. And I'm just going to use this as my everyday lip balm until it's gone. <sighs> but no, that's not happening. <laughs> then my last lip product this is the Colored Rain Safari Rain Lipstick in the shade Queendom. Here it is. My goal, this was pretty much brand new when I started the project. My goal, a la Jalon, was to use a quarter of the bullet. I am not there yet. I've got 18 uses on it, and this is how much I have left. So, theoretically, I could if I really pushed it, but I don't think I will hit my goal, but never say never we're gonna see but this is still hanging around for the most part all of these makeup items are just is not happening next i have my elf electric mood priming serum 
This, of course, is into finish. I've got 29 uses on it. I have no idea how much is left in here. You can't see through the packaging, and it's just really difficult. Even with shining a light in there, it's too difficult to see where I'm at. So I have no idea how much of this is left. All I know is it ain't getting done in the next month. So it is what it is. It's nice, though. I like it. It's just not. I'm working on way too many primers, and it's not going to get done. Then, now we come to all of my powder products that I put way too high of a usage goal on. I put a 50 use goal on pretty much everything because it's 50 shades and I only need to use it once a week. That is not happening again for the next round because every, every round I'm learning lessons and my lesson that I learned for this round is 50 uses is way too much. So this is my Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. It's There's green in the peacock. That's why I brought it in. I had already had pan in this. And my goal is 50 uses. I'm up to 17. So again, even with daily use, I'm not going to hit my goal on it. So I'm probably not going to use it more than a couple more times. But that's fine. My Juvia's Place Serafina blush. Again, a 50 use goal. So far, I've got 11 uses on it. It's a very pretty blush. It's the one that I'm wearing today. Not gonna happen. This next one is from Ofra. It was in like a green sleeve. That's why I brought it in. This is their blush in the shade Rendezvous. This is like a really, really old product that I got from Ipsy. Again, 50 uses. I've got seven on it. I... It's still like performs fine. I think I'm just gonna, I mean, I'll wait till the end of the project. And it's really more, it's more of like a bronzer, I, as opposed to a blush. If I use this as an actual blush, it just makes my cheeks look super muddy, but I don't like it enough as a bronzer to want to keep it. <laughs> so I'll like keep it until, you know, the end of the project next month. And then I'm probably going to stick it in the magnetic palette where I'm decluttering things that are in pans like this and I'm going to get rid of it because I'm never I'm never going to want to reach for it enough to make any meaningful progress on it. Then I have my Pixie Peach Honey. This is a blush duo but I just use this as a highlighter because it's just like even the so-called blush is just too it's more like a blush topper and then, but if you mix them together, it makes a nice, like, a little more of a subtle highlighter than I like, but it's fine. I'm going to keep it around. Again, 50 uses. I've used it 10 times. And then my last powder product is this very cute Marc Jacobs highlighter in Guilty. This is the highlighter that I have on today. I also have a different highlighter on top of it because this was a, it's a little too dark, but that's fine because it's so pretty. I'm definitely not getting rid of it, but this is what it looks like. It is freaking gigantic. Who will ever go through this much highlighter in their life? I don't know, but again, 50 use goal. I've got 10 uses on it. Just so you see my dilemma here with why this project isn't successful for me because I just... I expect too much of myself. I cannot do that. I have, I'm doing too many projects to set such high goals for things that only have a year where I can only work on them for a year. So next year is not going to be like that. I'm just putting it out there. Then the last four items are liners. So this is my JD Glow. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. This is my JD Glow liquid liner. It's one of their multi-chrome liners in the shade Translade. And this is, this was pretty much brand new when I brought it in. I've used it 18 out of the 50 times. So again, I'm not going to hit my goal, but I, I got some pretty decent use on it. And, and like, it is starting to separate if I leave it for too long. So I need to like start using it a little bit more. I mean, obviously I'm not going to hit my goal on it, but it's a nice liner. I like it. Then I have something that I hope will be finished by next month, I'm just gonna have to make sure I use it every day. This is my Pixie eyeliner in, what is it? Opal Overcoat. 
and I want to finish it, obviously. I mean, look at how much is left. I've got 66 uses on it from the project. I use this in my lower waterline. I don't know. It's just, you know what? I should try. I might try this as like an eyeshadow base for like a lighter shimmery shade or something just to see. So I'm not a super huge fan of the way this looks in my waterline, but that's really the can't tight line with it. I can't do an actual liner with it because it doesn't show up. So I'll find a way to make it work and I want to get that done. This next one is actually a declutter. This is my Julep Gel Eyeliner in Emerald Shimmer. I managed to get 36 uses out of this and then like that 36th use, it's, it was finally just like, it was irritating my eyes way too much. And I was like, I'm it's done. I'm not putting anything in its place. It's just going in the trash. So I think that is the second item I have actually decluttered, not finished from this project. So that won't count towards like my finished percentage or totals or whatever, but I'm not, not going to use it because it was really bothering my eyes. And then the very last item I have in is my AOA Studios eyeliner pen in the shade green. I wanted to finish this. I've got 36 uses on it. It's still working, but you can see maybe it is starting to get kind of gunky. So it still works pretty fine, but it has been open for a long time. So part of me is like, I should just throw it out at the end of the project and call it done because it's been open for almost a year. But the other hand, I'm like, it's still it's still liquidy and colors coming out, so I should keep it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just try to, I should just try to do as many green looks as I can in the coming month and use this as much as I can, and maybe then I'll feel better about getting rid of it. I don't know, because only 36 uses on this, even though it was like a dollar. That's still, still want to get more use out of it if I feel like it's still good. So anyway... Even though this is the second to last video, of course, it's a long one because I don't have a ton of progress because I still have a ton of items left over and because I cannot stop running my mouth. So, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're doing better with this project than I am. Hopefully the next color will be more successful as I incorporate the, the life lessons that I've learned doing it this year. But that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!